All right, now that we have our database up and running, we need a way to connect to it. Remember, our computer is serving as a computer server, i.e. a database server, really, and basically anyone can connect to it and view the contents, modify contents, and perform all the operations supported by the database. Now, the very first way that we can connect to the database is by using a GUI client. And this is an application where it eases the way that you connect to the database and it makes your life easy in terms of performing, you know, inserts into the database, deletes, view the data and have like all these fancy UI elements that allows you to see your database in a much easier way. The second way is by using the terminal or command line. And this is my preferred choice. And this is because this is how you get your hands dirty by learning all the commands that your database of choice requires you to learn in order to uh, manipulate your database. And once you learn how to use a terminal or a command line, which is not difficult to be honest, then using a GUI client, it's very trivial. And the third way is by using an application. So this is where, for example, you write a server side application where you connect your database and then you can perform data and then return that data to your client so that the client can make the data look nice on a screen or a, a mobile application. So let me quickly show you the actual GUI clients out there. But for this course, we're going to focus on using terminal because this is how you will master any database. And also, if you ever need to SSH into a remote server, then you will be very comfortable using the terminal or command line because you're not going to have any GUI client, to be honest. So let me show you the actual clients out there and what are some of the options that you can use if you were to use a GUI client. So DataGrip is by far one of the best database clients. And basically you can connect to any of these databases. So right here you see Postgres, MySQL, Oracle, SQL Server, Sybase, MariaDB, so on and so forth. So it's very, very cool. And you can see right here the UI is very slick. And basically it makes it easy for you to see the data, you know, perform, um, you know, alterations, inserts, updates, deletes, so on and so forth. But for this application, you need to buy a license. However, you have a 30 day trial, but once that's over, you need to buy. And the price is about 149 per year. So for those on a budget, you can use Postico. So Postico is a similar tool, but less powerful. And essentially this tool is actually just for Mac users only. So this tool is free, you can download, it's amazing. And it pretty much allows you to get your job done. And for Windows users, you can download PG Admin, which does the same thing as Postico, but the UI is not as nicer as the other ones. So as I said, learning how to use the terminal or command line is not scary at all. And I want to make sure to make it super easy for you. And by the end of this course, you will be so comfortable using terminal or command line if you're already not. So this is all for this video. And in the next video, we're going to connect to our database. Join me there. See ya.